Welcome to my channel, The Evolving Being. In today's video, we will talk about the Young India Fellowship Program's interview process. Make sure you watch the video till the end as I will be sharing a pro tip on what is the most crucial element of the YF interview process. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. A little bit about myself before we begin. I'm an alum of the YAF uh, batch. Uh, uh, I joined uh, the Ashoka University long back before the university was established. I am also, I was also a part of the admissions and outreach team of the Young India Fellowship Program for several years. I have interviewed hundreds of uh, students and read thousands of applications. So I have a sense of what makes an application stand out. And I want to use this opportunity to share some of the tips and tricks with you so that you can use it to enhance your application process. Let's start with the panel and the duration of the interview. The panel comprises of one to two members. Sometimes it may also comprise of three members. On rare occasions, you may find yourself being interviewed by one person also, but that's very rare. Usually, you will have a combination of somebody from the admissions team and a person from the uh, faculty team. On the admissions side, uh, uh, more often than not, you'll have the director of admissions interviewing you. And from the faculty side, you sometimes may have the dean of YF also uh, present in the interview. On Ashoka University's website, the time uh, mentioned is 25 to 40 minutes for your interview process. I have seen shorter and longer interviews as well. You can have an interview as short as 15 minutes and it may go on much longer. Uh, I've also seen interviews for over an hour. Now, the duration really depends on the time in which your interview is slotted, which part of the day it was slotted in. Uh, also, because now the process has gone online, uh, the exhaustion in front of the screen uh, increases significantly. So if you find yourself having an interview in the first half of the day, there is a probability it will be more on the longer side. However, if your interview is on the second half of the day, there's a probability it will be on the lower side. On an average, you can say an interview will be between 20 to 30 minutes. Next, let's talk about where to start your preparation from. Almost all the questions that you will be asked will be from the application that you have submitted. There is very little scope of getting questions that come outside the application process. So make sure you are very thorough with everything that you've written in the application. I'll also be sharing with you exactly what you need to focus on within the application that you've submitted. So as you're aware, you share a lot of your personal details in the form. Uh, it's not just the personal details, but also your work experience, projects that you've done, books you've read, your essays. So there's a lot that has gone in. Make sure you read it properly and you, are, you can speak uh, fluently and easily about any of the experiences mentioned there. So if you are a fresh graduate, uh, make sure you focus on your work at the undergraduate or the postgraduate level, whatever you have studied. If you are a working professional, you should be able to talk about whatever uh, uh, field and stream you're working in, as well as the company, the impact your work has had, achievements that you've had, etc. Don't forget to uh, uh, go through some of the past projects and extracurricular activities that you've been a part of, simply because uh, they may ask you something from the past as well. So make sure you know uh, what uh, you worked on, what is the impact that, uh, of whatever project you've undertaken. Also, what are some of the learnings that you've had from that uh, project? What are some of the challenges that you faced, etc.? Any of these questions can be asked. And last but not the least, focus on the current affairs. Now, for current affairs, you don't have to study everything cover to cover. It doesn't apply for you. It is very subjective based on the application that you've submitted. So, uh, for instance, if you're an economics graduate, make sure you know about everything related to economics in the news. For instance, you have, uh, we recently had the budget uh, as well as the economic survey documents that were released. Make sure you understand what the economic growth pattern of the country is, the post-COVID recovery, the V-shaped growth, all of that. And for instance, if you are uh, if you're a lawyer, make sure you're aware of the recent uh, landmark judgments that the Supreme Court has uh, released. Or for instance, if you are studying sociology or uh, any other anthropological stuff or agricultural background, know about the farmers' rights and what the stand of different stakeholders are in that case and what your viewpoints are on that as well. 
So depending on what you've put in the application form, selectively prepare current affairs for those individual topics as well. And make sure you do mock sessions, you do demo sessions before you go in. Uh, because it really helps. I, I'm not sure how well exposed you may be to giving interviews online, given the COVID times. Uh, certain dynamics do differ. So it's always good to go in for a mock session and uh, practice questions. And I can tell you one thing for sure. 80% of questions that you will be asked in the interview room can be predicted before you walk in. So if you use expert guidance and advice, there is a high chance that you'll be able to prepare very well for the interview and also uh, be prepared for some of those unknown questions. There are ways to go about it. In case you need uh, more help on this, please feel free to write to me and I'll be happy to connect with you. Now coming to the pro tip, which you probably are waiting for. The single most crucial element in the YF application process, interview process, and the final selection is, why is it that you want to do YF? How passionate are you about the subjects that are taught and generally about learning various things under different domains? And what is your storyline? What have you done so far? What is it that you plan to do? And how does that all tie up into the framework of YF? How will YF help you succeed and get to where you want to go? Now, it is because all of you are unique in your own ways, have your individual journeys and stories. This will not be uh, uh, similar for uh, two people. You will have your individual storyline. But to be able to pull out those trends and those uh, uh, landmarks within your story that highlight the multidisciplinary nature of your being, and being able to correlate that to YF is exactly what is needed while preparing for the interview. And each of the storylines need to be worked on. So again, seeking expert guidance in this space can be of some help for you. Uh, that's all for me from, uh, for now. In case you have more questions on the interview process, feel free to write them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to take them up. And in case there are any other questions, uh, I have already linked my, uh, put my email address below. You can take it from there. And don't forget to watch the other YF video also that I have already made earlier. Uh, if you want me to create more content on any of the application processes, feel, feel free to write that down and I'll be happy to take that up as well. So on that note, uh, until next time, take care and all the best for your application.